set the coil gap. I put the screw in the handle right there so it's not coming off anymore. I adjusted the chain a little bit, tightened her up a little. Had to take this handle apart to, uh, to put the screw in there, which I've never done. And luckily I have a book that told me how to get all those bits back in. As soon as that thing came loose, they all went everywhere. It was a pain to put. She actually idled. I like it sitting down on that uh, sawdust. It kind of lowers the tone. Kind of gets some resonation going. I love that saw. Uh, the clutch is supposed to be in tomorrow. The chain by Friday. So this weekend I should have the uh, quarter pitch chain on it. And I'll probably do a couple of cuts. To see how it works on some smaller stuff. That big stuff's really not for that saw. It goes down there in the bottom is about what that saw is made for. It's a limmer. Maybe that one I'll pull out. But you see how much wood's on top of it. I gotta dig it out. That one wouldn't be too bad, but again, it's got so much on top of it. So it may end up being one of these smaller ones. It's not gonna be one of those big ones. Those are getting split up. I can't. I can't waste all the firewood I got. She's been idling for a minute now. So, another heat cycle. And I got the idle, as you hear, a lot lower and she's not stalling every once in a while. It was all the coil. When your coil's off, it's not gonna run great. They weren't even, the screws weren't even real tight. It was just like set in there. I was like, I can't believe I started it that way. But anyway, here. 